um, maybe the emotions differently in them, them knowing, you know, Georgia Southern is a rival? Well, I mean, it, certainly, I mean, anytime you play your rival, I mean, and you play guys that you know, you may have uh, played against them in high school or played with them in high school, it, it ramps up the emotion, ramps up the intensity, and it does for all of us, especially as coaches as well. So, you know, it's, it is what it is. It, it's the great thing about sports, to develop rivalries and, and uh, people that you can really, truly uh, love to to get after. Now, with these seniors and this being their final game, what have you seen from this this week, and what is your message to them with this being their final game? Well, my, my message is very, very simple. I mean, you know, uh, time doesn't stop for anyone. I mean, you, you got to make the most of your opportunities every single day, and, and you, you can't you can't look back and go, you know, I wish I would have done this, I wish I would have done that. I wish they, they could all share that message with a freshman or a sophomore right now to say how how quickly it, it, it's, it's over. And some of these guys will never ever play on a, a team sport again. I mean, uh, and that that's hard because once you do it for so long, and then all of a sudden it stops. Uh, I don't think they think about it. But they're a special group. You know, they've done a lot here, and we're very thankful for what they've accomplished and, and how they how they've uh, developed this football program. Because this is, uh, like I said, still a young football program. So these seniors have, have kind of seen it all. Now, um, final question for me. Georgia Southern, obviously a very powerful team. Um, what challenges do you think they're going to present on both sides? Well, I mean, uh, <laughs> let's be honest. We don't stop the run quite well, and that's that's the number one thing they do. They love to run the football. They're, they're, they're averaging right at, you know, whatever they are in the game. Uh, so that's, that's what we got to do. We got to stop their run. Uh, offensively, we just got to not, you know, not have our turnovers. But, uh, but I think they're well coached. Uh, you know, all the way around, Coach Lentz with my staff certainly know football and they know how to prepare their football team. So it's going to be a good, you know, good contest. Thank you. Opposite side, things you've been able to rush the ball well. Uh, what have you just seen from your offense to achieve a lot of good rushing yards from your quarterbacks to your blocking, everything like that? Yeah, you know, uh, the, uh, for for the rushing attack to be successful, you you've got to have assignment-oriented football. I mean. And our offensive line is doing that for the most part. Our quarterback is developing uh, a nice running game for himself in, in that position. And then our backs are running hard. And and and, uh, and that's really, really critical. We've got good perimeter blocking uh, with our wideouts. That's something that, that really they've taken on as, 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 as a pride thing. Uh, so all in all, it's, it's a good concept. And I think it's a, you know, we're, we're putting them in position to be successful in the run. You've talked about the, the linemen, offense linemen, having to move those guys. And you feel they've adjusted easier maybe to, to rushing blocking compared to maybe pass blocking? Uh, I don't I don't think so. I mean, I really don't. I mean, it all depends on what, what kind of high school you came from and what you did for the most part. But uh, no, I don't think it, it has anything to do with that. I just think we have a, a very sound plan in what we're doing as, as far as running the football. And it's, uh, it's developed nicely with our backs and our quarterback and our line. And lastly, uh, Brandon Wright, your kicker, uh, special teams, how helpful has he been uh, towards that side of the field? And how important is it to have a good kicker punting and for field goals as usually taken for granted? Yeah, yeah, you know, and that should have been the first thing you asked because Brandon's probably one of the, the, the biggest stories of this uh, this season. I mean, he's a, he's a talented young man. He's done an exceptional job. I think he's third in the nation in, in punting. He flips the field every single time, just like Saturday. He flipped the field for us, and uh, I believe it was there. Guy Clifton Duck didn't have an opportunity to catch it or fumble the catch, and, and uh, it was a, about a 65-yard turnaround or 70-yard turnaround. So uh, he's very, very important, and he did a good job. Hit, a, I think, the third longest field goal in school history on Saturday, a 52-yard field goal. Um, he's still developing. You know, this is a breakout year for him, but uh, I'm glad we got him back. Thank you, Coach.